Greetings, pilgrims, and welcome to another episode of the Polygon Pilgrimage. And today, I want to show you a quick tip, something that uh, someone asked me about during our last live stream uh, with the car here. So I wanted to show you how I created the bitmap masks and how they can be used. So, for example, if we have our car here, and say we want to put, I'm thinking of putting a gas tank uh, you know the opening where you would put the, the fuel into and pull up to the gas station something around here so if I turn on the wireframe we can take a look and we can see that right here would be a perfect place for that now I could in theory just take my brush here and I could just paint a detail right there on there but you know making sure that it's an exact spot making sure that it's centered and this is kind of an, an angled surface I'd rather be able to use the image here to exactly find that spot. Now I could again also uh, if I add a new paint layer here I could just come in here and with my brush just find the right spot and say click and there now I've made a detail right there and we could just move on. However what if you want something that's more detailed than just this and you want it to be perfectly lined up it could become difficult so what we're going to do is uh, use our UVs to our advantage so I'm going to pop over to Photoshop, and you'll see here in Photoshop, I've designed a little, you know, sample thing here. And if I pull back for a moment, you'll see that I've zoomed in on the UVs and found the area that I wanted. Then I've filled the background with black, and then I have created my uh, my stencil, my uh, my mask here, using black and white shapes. And the more gradation you use, the more accurate you get some of these uh, different layers and if you just click once it will apply them all if you click and hold you can actually wipe them away so it's kind of nice to have that uh, that flexibility in here so I went ahead and saved this out as a PNG file uh, solid black and I make sure to remove my uh, my UVs from the equation so they're hidden when I save it out now I'm going to come in here and I don't need this anymore because I know exactly where it's going to appear I will zoom in on that spot so we can take a look. And then I have to import my image. So import image into project. There we go. And I'm going to select it and it's called bitmap bitmap mask example. So I'm going to say open, bring it into the project. And if I look in my alphas here, you should actually see it. Bitmap mask example. There it is. Okay, so we know it's in the project. Very good. So now I've created a new paint layer, and what I'm going to do is choose Mask, add a bitmap mask. So I'll select that, and then I'll find my example. There it is, bitmap mask example, click. And you'll see that gets added as a fill into the masking section. Now if all I have to do is click over here. I have set up my parameters already. I want this nice metallic look, and all you have to do now is click. So I click and paint, and there we go. So it has used my mask as a guide and has painted it in an exact position onto the model. Now a couple things to note about this, you'll notice I clicked and held and dragged. You can also expand your brush very far, as far as you want. It won't affect anything except what we've chosen. And I'm just going to click one time. And it makes it slightly different. You can notice a little bit of a difference there. Then if I click and drag, that first detail becomes very prominent and we get rid of the background details. So you can have a mask that has multiple gradations, and it's a nice little setup. Uh, one other thing to note is you don't necessarily have to use the entire thing all at once. So for example, if I undo this again, I'm going to click and drag, and you can notice that I can just choose part of it. So you could even create something that you only want to paint some of it, or if you have a design that you want it to be sort of faded away, you can use it like this too. And I can even come in here and just say, I want a little bit more of it to show. I can do all kinds of things, but the mask is always in place, so the mask will always be 100% of the total shape. So then I can fill it in. If I just click and drag, there we go, and I can complete the shape. So you don't even have to change your brush shape if you're working in some delicate areas, uh, you know, doing some detail work. You can just come here and say, oh, I need to do this too, and I'll just click and just scrub my mouse over until I'm finished. So there you go, that's a nice and quick easy way to do that and uh, I hope that answers some of the questions and 
I'm not going to keep this because I did promise that we're only going to work on the car together. Uh, and uh, this was just for an example purpose. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed that. I hope that it helps. And uh, as always, if you guys have any more questions, please keep them coming. I really love to answer questions and help you guys. So I'm, I'm here for you. Just let me know and we'll figure it out together. So as always, keep practicing, get better, and I'll see you next time as the pilgrimage continues.